And in Bryant, yesterday's rain brought a years long problem to the surface. You can see flood water here quickly rising in the Oak Glen neighborhood. We have been following this story for months now, but this flooding, it's been an issue since 2017. KRK 4 Jessica Rank took homeowners' concerns to the city today to find out what's the big holdup, Jess. She is joining us now from City Hall. The latest on this, what are you able to find out? Yeah, Bob and Laura, neighbors say that they are frustrated with the situation because they feel like they've been getting the runaround for years at this point. And like you guys had mentioned, I took all those concerns to the city today. And as we found out, the solution may not be as easy as it seems. We want to get it fixed. We want to get it fixed. It's a promise that neighbors here in Bryant say they've heard time and again. During the day, their streets are quiet, left only with remnants of the night before. These two videos were taken just 12 hours apart. Questions have gone unanswered for months, so we took them directly to the source. Your official position with the city. Public Works Director. Tim Fournier says the city doesn't have the authority to fix the issue. So the drainage is actually owned by the POA. So as a city, we can't go in there and just do improvements. The city is having to work around private property laws to ease flooding. The original plan was to build a concrete culvert in the middle of the subdivision, a $3.8 million project. The fix right now is so expensive, it's, it's unattainable. The city says they've gone through at least three different plans. The latest would build detention walls to help slow the flow of water. To put it lightly, it's a massive undertaking that neighbors say could have been avoided. How was it allowed for them to build all these homes on a floodplain? <laughs> I guess is my question. Uh, well, I will say this, that years ago when Bryant was booming and growing so quickly and so fast, uh, our our standards did not necessarily always keep up with it. The biggest learning moment, and they learned it several years ago, uh, was that us setting our plans before anything's ever built. The city says it will be a teaching moment as work continues to help drain water built up for years. We're attentive, as I think Tim put it pretty well, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks what they're having to go through. Uh, I don't have a magic wand though. Now the city says they started working on that latest solution or plans for it just in the last couple of weeks, so we will stay up to date with that. In the meantime, they say they're working to try and clear out that creek that runs through the middle of the subdivision, hoping that if they get out some of that debris, that will ease some of the flood waters. Of course, we will continue to follow this story like we have in the past. If you guys had missed any of my other previous stories, you can find those on our website, krk.com. Live in Bryant, I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you.